very well welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can embed and swift ui view into a ui kit application for this i already created a simple project and now let's create an ib action for launching the swift ui view and here function so we'll say show help view as we are going to call our swift view as help view send the any and so help you and now in our main or storyboard we are going to just design it by simply adding a ui button to it and ui button and we will give it a constraints and a width and height 300 is the width and height is 50 we will also and also we will add touch up inside to our IB action show help view here we connected it and now we are going to change the background color so that it looks a little bit elegant and here we have system green and the foreground color will be white so some of you are thinking that where is the foreground color so in I was in new Xcode we have different type of UI buttons so for that we need to change the style to default to get back to our, uh, to our old button properties and here you can see we have state config title and text color okay so now text color we already set to white just change the font here and we are going to make it semi bold okay and show help we change this title to show help and this is done we already set up our ib action to our button so let's run the app and here you can see the show help and it will do nothing since we didn't add any app any line of code inside our IB action. So now let's create a Swift UI view, new file, Swift UI view, next, and we will name it help view, right? And help view, it's created right here. So we already have text here. So now let's first let embed it. So let help view is equals to help view and let help vc is equals to ui hosting controller and root view is help view and finally self dot present help vc animated true completion will be nil so we are omitting it and that's it this is a single line of code or two line of codes that you need to use in if you want to embed a swift ui view into your ui kit using ui hosting controller so let's run the app now and here i app now we tap on show help and you can see hello world is getting printed as our Swift UI view. So now let's put a text and a button here. So for that we need this tag. I uh, I I am assuming that you have a little knowledge of this designing Swift UI views. So here we put our text here and hello world. We we'll make it like that. How can we help you and here what we need we need a button to dismiss this view too you can a user can dismiss it by just using the gesture but we need a button too so here we have button and we hit title and title we say close and action to perform the action when user tap on a button so now let's run the app so 
which will help and you can see this close button but they are very little bit tight so let's add alignment to our this dot center spacing will be let's say 80 and content so we'll copy this and here so now show help okay so it is now when we tap on this nothing happens because we because we didn't write any code inside the action block so what most of us a new guy who is just started using swift ui with ui can they just write self dot dismiss well, dismiss is not coming why so how how i can dismiss it or how how can i navigate back to my view controller so for that what you need to do is you need to create a call back here and so you need to do is where this means action equals oh sorry this means action and we will give it a closer here void right and now inside your action this is and now we need to change this too and here we need to missing and self dot dismiss animated true so now we launch our app show and when we tap on it it's getting dismissed so this is the actual way we we know how we can dismiss a swift UI view that is embedded to a ui kit i hope you like this video this is a very short video so i guess you like this video if you like it then give it a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to our channel then please subscribe thanks and good luck with ios bye for now